Hello, hello everybody, this is the goddess, and today I will show you how to play hag and how to counter her. If you are subscribed to my channel and you're used to seeing my sim videos and don't know what this game is, it is called Dead by Daylight. It is an asymmetrical horror game with various of different survivors and different killers. Uh, different killers such as Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street, Michael from Halloween, uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser, etc. Uh, as a survivor, you have to do four gens. Uh, you have to do all five gens and escape VA through exit gates or go through hatch. As killer, your job is to make sure gens get prevented and exit gates stop from powering by any means necessary. So, now that's out of the way, I will explain to you um, that Hag is a very unique killer to me. Um, she has different add-ons that you can use, and her playstyle is very versatile, just like Wraith's uh, add-ons. But I will do a Wraith video on how to play him and counter him in the near future. So, the thing I like about Hag is that she was the very first killer I started playing while getting into Dead by Daylight, and she is a very fun killer. And in the right hands, she can be very deadly. So, in this next clip, I will show you guys how she is played, and hope you enjoy it. The good thing about Hag is that she is one of the killers that does not require chase. You never want to chase with Hag. Also, Hag is a very strategic killer, so if you are playing Hag, make sure you look around the map and see which gens to protect to create a 3 gen. Hag requires a lot of strategic strategy. She does require a 3 gen, especially if you're running corrupt with Hag, but also Guys, also remember, you do not have to run corrupt with Hag. You see my build. I do have Stabiful, Pain Res, Nurses, and Surge. With this is very good on Hag. And also, I will be explaining how Stabiful is great with her. So, stay tuned. As you guys can see, Fang is my obsession, so I do not want to go for her. I go for the Nia because if you are running Stabiffle on any killer, you never want to hit your obsession. Otherwise, you will lose stacks. And as you can see, I almost hit Fang, but good thing I missed. Stabiffle is good on any killer, especially for M1 killers who are like 110 movement speed. Here is a tip for you guys, when you are playing Hag, make sure you guys do place down traps anywhere uh, near any loops, windows, gens, where survivors have to walk to, or anything that does require action from the survivors. So make sure you guys always have your traps down, especially near your 3 gen. And in this part, I do leave Nia on the ground and go for the Jill just to gain more Stabiffle stacks so I can recover a lot more faster on my next hit.
Experienced survivors will know how to counter hag just by simply just crouching past their traps to get the save. Also, Urban is a really good perk to countering her traps, but Urban has a bad rep, so probably not. Also, flashlights are a good counter for hag, unless she has Franklin's. To if you are running Franklin's as hag, always trap items. On dark maps, such as Swamp, it is really difficult to see her traps and you'll never know where they are, so be extremely careful. Since the ground is so muddy, her traps blend in very well in dark maps, especially Swamp. So be careful out there, gamers. On lighter maps, such as Cold Wind, her traps cannot be hidden and they're more easier to counter that way. Especially if you have a flashlight. Excuse my aim, please. I'm on console. A really good hag will probably put her traps in the tall grass so survivors will least inspect it. So guys, I'm gonna show you guys right here on uh, basically uh, my friend right there, Dr. Laser Raptor, who's playing hag. Uh, I'm basically showing you guys when you're in chase with hag if she's putting down traps just leave the loop that's all you got to do see right there just leave the loop and just book it to the next LT wall or just book it to the next loop also uh, if you guys are not following dr. laser raptor he's a very cool individual he is a killer main and his link will link to his twitch would be in the description box down below <laughs>
And here is a tip. Uh, Killer Shack is one of the strongest buildings in the game. So if you are playing Hag, make sure you do trap the Killer Shack at all times. Another tip, if y'all are near the basement that is main building or killer shack, make sure you never go down near the basement against a hag. If you do, it's a GG's. Okay everyone, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching all the way till the very end. Um, I know, you know, everybody plays hag differently. But that's my way of playing Hag. I haven't played Hag in over a year. I've gotten back into Hag recently. And she is still very fun till this day. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. If you guys do not know how to counter or play Hag now, now you do. Let me know what you guys think. Any, you know, constructive criticism is allowed. And thank you guys for stopping by. And I will see you guys next time. Later, my gods and goddesses, have a wonderful evening, morning, night, afternoon. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.